So if someone's watching this now, they're thinking, okay, I found a property, it's a short lease, it's got, you know, 60 years left on it. Mm. Price looks silly low compared to everything else. That's probably because uh, the, the lease is so short. Yep. How do they determine what they need to pay for the extension? Are they going to be held over a, a barrel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there's two ways, well, more than two ways. But um, first thing you should do is look on Google, yeah. type in lease extension calculator. Yeah. Normally, it's the top three. You've got um, top three or four, actually calculators on there i'd put in the details in those calculators and take a rough average of those three or four and then i would also so the standard formulas that they'll use to work out roughly what the yeah payment would be yeah. exactly yeah so you put in the ground rent um one of them you put in the end date of the lease mm -hmm. so if it's 100 years from now then it's two one two three yeah um you put in the current estimated end value with a good lease mm -hmm. um you put in the length of the lease and you also put in the current ground rent into it Right. And then press calculate and it gives you a, a figure, mm -hmm. gives you a low, um, a middle and a high. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. And then you take an average of obviously all of those and from those four different sites. And then I also use my secret weapon, um, my lease extension surveyor. Okay. Whenever I'm looking and I don't know the actual lease extension length, I just email him. Yeah. And then he sends me back. Um, an accurate quote of what it should be. So he'll calculate based how he thinks it should be. Yeah. Okay. Cause been doing so there's a standard years. method that they're following. It's not that somebody will think, well, you want a lease extension. I want 50 grand. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah they yeah. can just make up the numbers. Yeah. Can't be pie in the sky. It has to be fair and reasonable according to the legal documentation. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So he's got a calculator on his computer. Um, he's been doing it for like 30 plus years. Mm -hmm. So he knows, I think he's well respected in the industry as well. Mm -hmm. So if there's any disputes between myself and the freeholder, then I get him involved. Yeah. And then this happened once actually. Um, I think this was a few years back, seven, eight years back, on a two bed flat. They were trying to charge me, um, I think, 22 grand, 23 grand to extend the lease. Mm -hmm. But I knew that it's going to cost, it should, it should have cost around 15, 16k. Mm -hmm. So they, I, they weren't budging. This was a voluntary lease extension. Right, right. So what I had to do, um, I got um, him involved. Then you done a 22 page report. Okay. I think £700 plus VAT. Sent it off to the freeholder, mm -hmm. sent it off to the freeholder surveyor. Yeah. And then when they saw that, they came down in price to what it should be. Okay. So I paid roughly about a grand for his services, yeah. but you saved me about five, six grand in that yeah. instant. But they realize you know what you're doing. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Other yeah, than yeah. they're trying it on at the high rent, yeah. you might be able to get away with it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And to be fair, the people who own the freeholds who mm. grant the lease extensions, their business is we'll sit on these until someone yeah. like Jason comes along and exactly. wants an extension. Yeah. That's exactly. how they make their money. Yeah. Which is a different model. That's it, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I got a few like that as well where I bought the freehold to from a leaseholder, but then I wrote to the freeholder voluntarily, mm -hmm. um, asking for a lease extension quote mm -hmm. and also for a price to extend to to, to um, purchase a freehold, yeah. Okay. And then on five separate occasions I come back and said yes. Yeah. That um we're willing to sell you the freehold. And I had to serve a section ten. Um, inform the flat, mm -hmm. the other flats as well, that Mr. Change Patterson, yeah, yeah is, exactly, um, is interested in buying the freehold. Mm -hmm. um, if we don't hear from you in 14 days, then he'll buy it, he'll buy it solely, or if you want to come in with him, then it'll be jointly. Yes. I mean, most of the time they come in with me and yeah. we just purchase the freehold from the freeholder. Okay. So we're now owners. And then after that, we extended our own leases. Mm -hmm. um, Sister has charged us about £300 to extend our own leases. Right. Sign up the documents and then we put them to 999 um, going forward with Peppercorn yeah. Ground Rent. So, but, which is <clears throat> what they call a virtual freehold. Exactly. So, it's, it's the best you're going to get in terms yeah. of a, a new lease. And that's it, yeah. Yeah. What some people could do is just buy the freehold, keep the flat at like level 72 or 60 or years, whatever it is. Yeah. And then sell the flat. I mean, at some point, like you said, yeah. that leasehold is going to come to you when you yeah. extend it. I mean, you can get um, a payday from it. Yes.